A very sick toddler is currently being starved to death in a British hospital because the UK government has decided that his life is not worth fighting for. And you know the saddest part? The collective world cared more when a dentist shot a lion. Hey guys, welcome to Reality Check on MRC TV. I'm Brittany Hughes, and do you guys remember Cecil the lion? Of course you do. Everyone does. Cecil was a 13-year-old African lion who lived in a national park in Zimbabwe. He was shot and killed a few years ago by an American dentist and part-time big game hunter, and the story made headlines for days. It spawned countless articles and news reports, even books. It spurred demands for hunting reform. It launched entire investigations into how something so horrendous could possibly have happened to such a majestic creature. Politicians and celebrities piled on to demand an end to big game hunting. Jimmy Kimmel raised 150 grand in less than a day for Oxford's Wildlife Conservation Research Unit in Cecil's name. UK Prime Minister at the time, David Cameron, publicly condemned the killing. Senator Bob Menendez, here in the US, introduced the Conserving Ecosystems by ceasing the Importation of Large Animal Trophies Act. That's an acronym for Cecil. A few months later, lions were added to the US Fish and Wildlife's Endangered Species list, all for Cecil. Y'all remember Harambe? Of course you do. Everyone does. Because when the 17-year-old gorilla was shot after dragging around a three-year-old boy who had accidentally fallen into his enclosure at the Cincinnati Zoo, the entire world lost its collective mind. The zoo was immediately investigated by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums and the USDA. Nearly 3,500 people showed up to a candlelight vigil in Harambe's memory at Hyde Park in London. British talking head Piers Morgan rushed to condemn the shooting almost immediately. Rappers wrote songs about it. Harambe's death launched a worldwide discussion into whether or not gorillas should even be kept in zoos in the first place. And zoos across the nation rushed to change their gorilla enclosures to prevent similar situations, all for Harambe. Do y'all know the name Alfie Evans? He's a British toddler currently being allowed to starve to death in Alder Hay Hospital in Liverpool because some judges decided that his life is not worth fighting for. Now his parents, who naturally do think that their son is worth fighting for, want to take Alfie to a hospital in Italy for further treatment to try to save his life. Italy has agreed. They've even given Alfie citizenship so that the toddler can try to get the help that he needs. Alfie's parents have medical transportation standing by ready to airlift Alfie to Italy at a moment's notice, at exactly zero cost to the UK. Literally all the hospital has to do is let him go, and they won't. Now these kinds of stories change very quickly, but as of this filming, Alfie's story is not trending on Twitter. He's got lots of supporters, but there are no sweeping hashtags currently blowing up the internet. His story is not anywhere on the Drudge Report, much less splashed across the top page in bold red block letters as it should be. Only after Alfie had stunned doctors by surviving a full 36 hours after being taken off his feeding tube did the story make the bottom of Facebook's trending topics list. The agonizingly slow, state-sanctioned murder of this innocent little boy is not garnering primetime headlines, much less the 24-hour news coverage that it deserves. It's not on the front pages of CNN, NBC, ABC, or even Fox News. As far as anyone knows, Trump has not made any calls to the British government to increase international pressure. The Queen of England has not made a peep. Has anyone heard from David Cameron? No. No lawmakers have rushed to demand policies to prevent children like Alfie from being murdered at the hands of an almighty government. No late night talk show hosts have launched a single GoFundMe campaign for Alfie's parents. Jimmy Kimmel's not crying over this. Piers Morgan is not hosting segments over whether or not socialized medicine might not be such a great idea after all, all things considered. It is illegal to destroy sea turtle eggs. You can be fined and imprisoned for killing a bald eagle, but a little boy is being unnecessarily and deliberately starved to death in a hospital in a westernized nation because a government mandated it be so. And the world showed more collective outrage over a dead lion and a freaking gorilla. God help us. And that's your reality check. Subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.